Back into Winslow High School tonight, the Bulldogs with a nail-biting victory tonight. They knock off Snowflake final score 64-63. to Welcome in, everybody, to our postgame wrap-up at Sports on Radio. Northland Basketball is brought to you by Choice Wireless. Floyd Simmons over there is the Sports on Radio player of the game, Tyrell Young, socially distanced right there. Tyrell, congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. How did it feel? Big win over Snowflake. So it felt good. Um, first time we played them, you know, we took a hard L and we just came back stronger and got the win. You're a senior. It's your last go around. Your last time. Last time you will play Snowflake on this court unless something in the playoffs presents you a home uh, a date with them. But I don't think I don't think that's going to be mathematically possible. The way you guys are both going to finish very high. If you see each other in postseason, it's got to be a little further down the road. I would say neutral site stuff. So. Last time you played Snowflake, it's been such a, a great rivalry during your years of being on the varsity at Winslow. Was it special to finish up this way? Yeah, just because it was my last year. And, um, you know, I tell all the guys, just, we're all seniors. We only got one junior. And I just tell everybody, just live it. Just go, like, um, sorry. Um, just. I mean, it's take advantage of. Every last Ex chance you exactly, get, right? Yeah, take advantage because this is our last year. We don't get a second chance, and we just go hard. You know, you go out there, and, and you, you got personally a slow start. Were you a little frustrated in that first half? You, you weren't getting a lot of looks. You weren't getting a lot of touches on offense. It was, it was a very slow start for you. Was there frustration at all? I mean, you came out in the second half, and you blew it away. But uh, how did you feel coming out? Yeah, it came out a little cold first half, but... I just stuck with it and just kept my head down, just kept working hard on the defensive end, and I knew it would come on the offensive end. Well, you know, when you, uh, when you start slow, you get to lean on guys like Dustin, who made three three-pointers. He stepped out the arc, outside the arc in that uh, first half. He knocked down three threes. Zane Corham came in, hit a couple of big threes. You know, it's kind of fun to have guys like that to pick you up, isn't it? Right. Those are my guys, and I just, I just appreciate them just bringing the energy and just working hard every day, and uh, yeah. So I was talking to Coach about your two transfers. Well, in particular tonight, uh, you know, Jeremiah Baijo, transfer from Tuba City, who had a brilliant game, especially first half. He was awesome. Played both sides of the court equally well, I thought. And I thought Coy Silversmith, who didn't score big, he didn't have big numbers in the scoring call, but he played great. Played a great game for you guys. Those guys, have they fully integrated now? Are they, are they, are they the genuine? Is the Bulldog DNA now in there? I'd say it's, it's, we're, we're all getting together. Our chemistry is getting way better. Um, we're getting in the Bulldog Winslow flow, and we just, we just like to run our stuff. And, um, yeah, those, those, those guys are really good ball players. And, yeah. How, how does this win tonight make you feel about your chances, prospects, and the playoffs that come up? You feel like you guys have a good chance to make yeah, that run? but I'm not going to um, just get ahead of myself. You know, we still got, what, three games left? So we're just going to finish out strong and hopefully get the one or two seed and hopefully get that home court advantage during the playoffs and see how far we go. That's exactly the right answer right there, Tyrell. Good job. Congratulations. Big win for you. Congratulate you. the Sports on Radio player of the game. Thank you, sir. All right. Tyrell Young, get her done tonight. He goes out there, scores 17 points, 15 after the break for Tyrell. Does it in a number of different ways. I didn't really even ask him or coach about the, uh, the free throws in the fourth quarter. But that was such a big factor. Winslow at the line in the fourth period. Nine for 10 at the free throw line. They win by one over Snowflake, 64-63. Some other guys besides for Jeremiah Baijo had 11 of that in the first half. 11 points for Zane Corum. A couple of big threes for him in the game. Three threes, as a matter of fact, for Zane. Dustin Richard had three threes, and he scored 11 points on the night for the Bulldogs. Five points for Coy Silversmith. Three points for Chris Ariano, two points for Roy Bips, and a win for Winslow. On the other side, uh, Stuart West had 17, but it felt like he needed to have about a 25-point night, even with 17, and that led the way for Snowflake. That, from Stuart West, feels like a slow night, doesn't it? I mean, it just felt like uh, half of that number for him, okay? But but nonetheless, great effort out there, and in the fourth quarter when they needed some big points, was a part of the final moments when they had stuff, he got them some stuff. Uh, Gannon Larson had a great game. Five points scored in a six-second span in the final 12 seconds of the game that really gave Snowflake a shot at winning this game. Gannon Larson 
was brilliant at the end of the game for Snowflake, and he ends up with 14 points tonight. 10 points for Caden Brewer, who played lights out for Snowflake. Eight points in the game for Connor Hall. Five points for Ryson Stewart. Six points for Michael Brimhall for the Lobos, and three points for McKay Wood. But the win goes to Winslow, and they split with Snowflake this season in the, in the regular season. Two great games played, both the one at Snowflake and one here tonight at Winslow, and the Bulldogs come away 64-63 on top of Snowflake tonight. The Sports on Radio presentation of Northland Basketball is brought to you by Choice Wireless.